today we will discuss some more of approximate computing techniques so next uh, technique is that if we have a neural network we can approximate the neural network itself so later in this course we will study about uh, pruning but here this is a different approach for approximating neural network we can quantify the impact of approximating any neuron to overall quality using back propagation so what happens like in uh, in a neural network there are many many weights but not all the weights are equally important some weights are more important some weights are less important so for example that means if you change some of the weights then there is a huge impact on the accuracy whereas there are other weights even if you remove them or you know, prune them or make them zero whatever it, it has very little impact on the accuracy so, so based on this approach we can create different approximate versions of the neural network by for example we can adapt their input precision or we can change the neural weights and because and then we, what we can do we can do retraining so in machine learning there are two phases one is inference one is training so training involves error healing okay? so the point is uh, when when you retrain a network whatever errors have happened or whatever you know accuracy degradation which has happened it will be recovered so uh, uh, in training all those errors which we have purposefully introduced uh, they will be you know uh, overcome and quality will be further improved so by using further retraining we can do further approximation okay so uh, for, for example like you first Uh, you have a trained network then you do approximation then for example accuracy will come down then you can again uh, we can do uh, retraining so the accuracy will be recovered so in this way we can maintain good accuracy now next is uh, here observation is that neural networks expose parallelism and they allow efficient hardware implementation they can be trained to mimic computations so this is what i will show in the next slides how we can have a neural network to mimic normal computations plus they are error resilient so what we can do we can replace a kernel with approximate neural network based code that means see we may have a kernel which does exact computation instead of that we can do we can do neural network based computation that, that means we can have a neural network which which tries to mimic the computation of this kernel so here is an uh, overall idea suppose we have some approximate portion we train a neural network to mimic this uh, kernel of this portion computation portion and then we can accelerate this neural network on an np for a neural processing unit that means just a accelerator for neural network okay for example the overall code may be running on cpu this code may be running on cpu and this this lower code may also be running on cpu but just this neural network code we can run we can run on uh this is on cpu this we can run on np so i i will show it just just a moment let me first show this part yeah here is the idea so um, we can have for example code one code two the many codes may be there some of it may be uh, amenable to neural neural network approximation so we can have a neural representation for them and most of the code runs on cpu but this neural representation code runs on np neural processing unit okay so now let us see some examples okay so this is an example for sobel filter so sobel filter is used for edge detection in image processing okay so this is the sobel filter so this parrot is the name of transformation that they do, they do you can ignore it for now so here for example we have this edge detection algorithm where we convert the image to gray scale and then we Build a three plus three window, and uh, there we do the Sobel edge detection algorithm. Okay. okay, and this is the computation of Sobel edge detection algorithm. So here we are reading these pixels. Okay, so we have like zero 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 one zero two two zero two one two two uh, zero two is already come, but one two. Uh, one one and uh, zero zero. Okay, so we have uh, one two one one. So we have how many eight, eight, eight different pixels, right? Zero zero. Uh, so zero zero is come. So now zero zero two. So this is also come. 
and uh, 210120 this is already come and 22 so this is already come this we can uh, and uh, one, one two and one one okay so we don't have one zero right so we don't have one zero so we have uh, eight pixels here eight distinct pixels one two three four uh, five six seven and eight okay eight different pixels are there okay so now here is a transform code which which is executed by here we have converted a sobel function transformed into a uh, neural network which has nine which has nine input uh, neurons right it has nine inputs it has eight neurons in the hidden layer and it has one output one output so here actually like all the all the you know layers are linear layers that means we are just doing multiplication and addition okay so we have this calls to npu where we are sending the first input second input third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth so all the nine inputs we have sent and now uh, this computation is happening as a neural network computation now it is not like a full blown cnn it is a very simple computation just multiplication and addition which which we know is like like a multi layer perceptron now and so instead of doing this normal comp computation in normal way we are we are calling a uh, neural network and ne that neural network is implemented on an npu and whatever answer comes this r that will be received here that will be the answer pixel so this is the idea of neural network based approximation so is it clear anyone has any question yeah please so can you, can, you can yeah you can uh, you see please you just answer ask question without raising hand you just speak and i it's difficult for me to see which hand has raised yeah so priyansh yes sir so can you explain again how did we do this approximation no no see here there is no approximation I mean, here it is exact implementation because this is a very simple straightforward multiplication and addition code in in some other kernel this actually we, we may not be able to exactly have a neural network to implement that computation there it will be approximation here it is just transformation that means compared to see see we are just doing some multiplication right here this this is multiplication that means some weights are there plus uh, and we have some inputs and some weights and we multiply them and add them okay so uh, that with that we have uh, outputs and from this x x square plus y square and then square root of it r we get uh, this output r and then we compare it with a threshold we don't allow it to go more than a threshold and then we return the value r so here it is just a straight forward computation so this is a very very simplistic example i would say for a sobel sir why there are two sir why there are two different x i mean in the yeah this is actually i also think this is a mistake actually this is this should be x when x2 because here we are just overwriting it i i took it from a paper so actually i also could not understand because if once you compute this x then you compute this x then the value of previous x is lost it should be x when x2 Sir, as you are saying, there one pixel is missing. I mean, there are eight pixels. So, yeah, yeah, what about that one pixel? Actually, yeah. So here, this this p one zero is. I, I don't think it is actually getting multiplied anyway. Here, but one zero is not there. Okay. So, so I think uh, there could be a reason for it. Actually, this is that base... approximated or something like that? No, no, it's not approximated. It's it's not approximated. I, either it's a mistake or maybe this the this is the correct code. i will actually have try to check what is the correct code for sobel edge detection sobel edge detection like we are just seeing you know whether there is an edge so edge means that we still till this point it was one object now there is some other object that means the pixel grade the intensity is changing so that time you know it is a it, it's edge edge has come for example i am seeing this screen till now till, till the end of this screen it is black and then it is some other object maybe the wall wall is being seen so so now it, it is a clearly distinct object so so with that we are detecting so here actually i would say there is no approximation it is we are just doing transform that's why it's a transform code but there could be some more complex function where neural network may not be able to exactly emulate that computation there it will be approximation 
So here, it's, I think uh, we, we are sending P10, but I, I think it is not getting used. It may be used, but uh, at least based on at least based on this, the P10 is not there. So hopefully it is not getting used. And this is a definitely mistake. Actually, x x we are computing twice. It is just overwriting one over another. So that cannot be the proper calculation. I will actually double double check it. I will see the original code of uh, Sobel extraction and try to again see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why there is two multiply there? Two, two is just a two. This one two. This yes, just sir. a code for Sobel. Sobel extraction. This is the code for Sobel extraction. So what is this uh, basically doing? I mean. There is a value at p zero zero. There is a yeah. value at p zero one. There is a value at p zero two. And yeah. why? I mean, uh, can you explain more about this? Because Actually, I'm not getting it. Mean, see, see how Sobel extraction algorithm works. That is not part of this course. That is an image processing course. And so sir, I take digital image processing course to fully understand that Sobel extraction. Yes. Our, our, yes it's not Sobel. You can call it whatever computation. Some computation. Okay, computation. Uh, yeah. Sir, uh, I may be wrong, but uh, I believe this is also approximated. This is not exact solution because uh, we are uh, uh, just detecting the edges, right? Yes. So there can be, uh, and neural network is never giving uh, us exact uh, value that okay, here the edge is ending. So there is a transition zone, I believe. No, so no, no, this, no. See, 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 see. This is not see, exact. Image uh, no, no. Point is. That uh, sub suppose we assume that suppose we assume that this code is perfect. Okay, suppose we assume yes. that this is an exact code. Then okay. my question is whether whether this is exactly emulating this part. That is the only question. If this itself is exact, if this itself is approximate, then that's not what we are talking. Our, our technique is whether we are doing neural network based. Uh, I mean, uh, transformation. Whether we are transforming a kernel to neural network exactly or inexactly. If this code itself is inexact, then you just have inexactness to start with. If we assume that this is exact code, then my question is whether our neural network is exactly implementing it or not. Of course, maybe this maybe this square root. I, I don't know whether square root how how does it implement uh, for square root. Uh, it becomes a non-linear. So maybe uh, once you compute this from uh, x square plus y square. How do you compute the square root? I'm not very clear. How do they do it in neural network? So, and sir, uh, one more thing. How how did they decide that uh, hidden layer will be having only these number of neurons? I mean, eight neurons. Uh, on what factors it is depending on? Like yeah. eight neurons in the hidden yeah, layer. That's very good question. So actually, like if you're doing any mathematical calculation, you will know that how many intermediate terms are coming, right? How many intermediate terms are coming? So for example. Here, like you will call it x1, x2, x3, x uh, sorry, uh, uh, y1 and y2. So definitely, these four terms are there: x1, x2, y1, y2. Okay, and uh, so plus uh, so with this, and then what you have to do? Uh, I'm not sure how they're implementing this square root. That's not very clear to me. But uh, then you will multiply x1 with x2. Right, so you will have one more, one more term for that. Suppose you call it x3. Then you have y1 into y2. That for that you will have y3. Uh, then you will have to add them. Right, so you will have maybe one more layer, y y uh, uh, y3 plus x3. And I'm not sure how to. So this, this thresholding, of course, there is a. This is the non-linear layer. For this, there are already what you call uh, like ReLU, and there are many activation functions. So this part is easy to implement. So clip, clip certain uh, certain value. For that, there are activation functions like, like ReLU, ReLU six, and so on. So, but sir, so hidden hidden neurons can be. I mean, uh, hidden layer can have uh, more than eight, right? So why only eight? No, you will have minimum number of minimum number of uh, you know you know variables which you need for doing any computation. Why you will unnecessarily have more more than what you need? You just have as many as you need. Sir, for example, how, how we decide how we decide that? Ki, okay, eight is the optimum number, not more than that. 
Yeah, so, so let's see, that's what I'm trying to explain. Like for example here, this x1, x2, y1, y2, so four, definitely you need this intermediate variables, right? And then you, to multiply x1 with x2, you will need, uh, or maybe you can just, so one option is you don't have uh, x3 plus y3, you can uh, do this computation twice. So, so this p0, 0, 0 is get going one, so many places is right here. Okay. Uh, Maybe, we, for, maybe for, for, for this particular example, we can solve it out uh, for how many exact new number of neurons we need. Here it is, I will have to you know, solve this. I did not solve it. I will try to, I will go through the original paper again and try to solve it to see how exactly they need it. For, for me, at least till now, it looks like uh, if you do X1 into, so at least definitely you need minimum of this four. And then uh, to compute this, Square, maybe one option was you could have one more hidden layer. So first hidden layer has four neurons. Then second, second layer has uh, further. So actually, how do you multiply two neurons? You actually generally multiply uh, one neuron with a weight. Uh, how do you multiply two neurons? That's what I will have to find out. I, I will I will look into this code actually how how to have exactly eight neurons. Sure, okay. And anyone else has any question? Okay, no problem. Okay, so let us go forward. Yeah, so here, this is another example. So here, for example, they have approximated cos x, exponential log x, power of two, uh, uh, you know, two to the power x, sine x using a neural network approximation. So here, this is a CPU. Now, this is a neural network which has certain hidden neurons, 0, 1, 2. Now, and this is the output uh, neuron. And the output 0, this, this is the output neuron which is further shown here. We will not go into the details of inside it. This is how, how this circuit is um, made. Those who are interested, those who are interested, they can, they can see this. Right, but what is more interesting to us is how, so. Uh, but what is more interesting to us is how. What are the errors? Okay, so this function value, this dotted line, is like this, and square root of uh, so sorry, squared of error, which is right by by right by x, right this part. 10 to power 3, 10 to power 0, 10 to power minus 3. So, uh, yeah, so, th so this error is shown here with this continuous line. So for modeling cos x, so this is what the now, now approximation is coming, right? So for modeling of cos x, the error is very, very small. Okay. For modeling of sin x, again, error is very, very small. For 2 to the power x, for modeling that now error is very large. Here you can see the even within this range of minus 5 to 5 as you approach 2 to the power 5. Then the modeling error approaches here it approaches 10 to the power 0 is 1. And then once you go past 5, the modeling error will become very large. For log x, modeling error is very, very small. For exponential x, e to the power x, again it is similar to 2 to the power x. Here also the error is increasing fast. So this is the idea of how, uh, you know, an in-based approximation can, can generate error. So actually, see that here it is all just linear computation. At least this multiplication and addition, they are linear computation. So here, as I was saying, I don't think there will be any error. But for modeling more complex functions, uh, there, there would be error in, in, in using neural network-based approximation. And as you make your neural network more complex, that means more number of uh, hidden layers or more number of neurons in the hidden layers, then your error will, can, will gradually go down. Okay, so this concludes our discussion. I have a survey paper if you want to see that. I have uploaded that. Okay, so this part. Mm -hmm.